What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to the Berserk manga, this time I'll be reacting to uh, the 13th, almost 11th, uh, 13th volume, um, which is uh, the unlucky number for some and actually very fitting number uh, to, uh, to be where we are in the story, isn't it? Maybe it, was, it probably was designed in that way, wasn't it? Um, again, very fitting and a very interesting cover right here. We'll obviously be doing the usual kind of two chapters um, per, uh, per video, um, if it that is if it has continues to have even numbers. Sometimes that's like an odd number of um, of chapters. So maybe there'll be a kind of free uh, free chapter video. But um, yeah, very interesting artwork here again. Lo load of monsters. I will say quite a few of them actually look quite similar here. I like the colouring though. It's very very fitting as well. It's very dark brown. Everything in this. There's no brightness except for the the water just underneath. Both Guts and Casca. Guts looking absolutely slain, by the way. <laughs> he looks absolutely fucked. The amount of cuts and gashes over, all over him and that broken sword, it just speaks uh, volumes about the kind of despair that we're in at the minute, doesn't it? And uh, oh yeah, his left arm is gone as well. That is quite the image here, isn't it? Bloody hell. Obviously Casca naked. I think this is probably just after what happened with... Uh, Griffith perhaps as uh, Griffith looms in the back right there as well. There's new uh, with his new wings. But yeah, really like this cover. Really cool, except for the fact that I have to uh, censor it. But it's not that big an issue. I'm now two videos ahead of you guys, so censoring it is actually a little bit easier because obviously I upload the video and then wait a couple of days to upload it so during that time I can now I've got a new blur which you might see in some of the past videos so I've got this new blur which I use from the video edit on YouTube um, which is it's decent it's, it's a good blur but it, it, it's just it takes so long to process and it sometimes it won't even let you do more than two blurs in, in a kind of singular time so you've got to wait for one to process which takes hour or two um and then do another one and do another one so it might uh might get a bit annoying if there's a load of sensor and i imagine at some points there probably will be a, a ton of sensor probably in this volume by the uh by the looks of things and kind of knowing what's to come as well with griffith and casca so hopefully it won't be uh too crazy but uh, do let me know what you guys think of this volume down in the comment section and what you think of the first couple chapters uh, leave a like on the uh, on the video if you guys do like this video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these uh reactions and we'll get right into it again love this artwork face man okay so what chapters can we look forward to seeing here then Oh, nice artwork here of Femto. And a couple cool monsters as well. This one looks really awesome. Wow. I like this one a lot. And I got like two faces on, on a face. And a pretty creepy looking face of that. Nice. Nice artwork. Griffith looking pretty good. So, it looks pretty damn human under there, doesn't he? But then again, Slain looks human as well, so I guess nothing really can be said of that. But he does look uh, just like Slain, quite human in comparison to some of the other God Hand members. Okay, so we've got Storm of Death. Oh, so does this carry on exactly where we left off last, last time? With uh, I think we exactly left off with um skull knight taking on zod didn't we that so looks like we're going to be continuing that with storm of death chapter one and two uh we've then got god of the abyss and lifeblood quickening and birth lifeblood you know what i watched the yugo progression series <laughs> with uh with simo um quite a lot watch quite a lot of his videos i really like uh mbt he's probably one of my favorite youtubers at the minute probably one of the best youtubers at the minute in my opinion as well but um, I, I always say that phrase, the lifeblood, and I always wonder what, like, I'm always quite confused by that. <laughs> looks like it is an actual thing, but like, I mean, just call it blood, like, it's blood, like, obviously it, it helps with your life, <laughs> it, it's blood, but um, I didn't think I'd be seeing that here, the lifeblood. Uh, and then we've got quickening and birth. 
perhaps that's where Griffith gets into it with Casca, perhaps. Afterglow of the right eye and escape. Okay, I, I think I have a clue what they're about. Awakening to a nightmare, the sprint and vow of retaliation. I think this is probably where we see like the end of the movie, I imagine. Uh, in the uh, in the three movies that they release, I imagine this is probably where it kind of ends off. Foul with retaliation when Guts is kind of fighting off the kind of spirit ghost things. But it does look like there is an odd number of uh, yeah, there's eleven chapters. So at some point, I'll have to do a a triple. Um, probably not today, just because it actually fits pretty nicely with two with Storm of Death. But maybe next time or time after, perhaps. Again, I guess it just depends on what I feel like during the time, but. Let's get right into Storm of Death. Zod? L Zod? W why Zod in a place like this? And then that? It's quite crazy that Ricker kind of... He obviously, you know, everyone in the band knows of Zod. But... It's quite interesting he's also been saved by Skull Knight and now he's encountering Skull Knight yet again. He is, um, we could say quite lucky. Could. Quite unlucky as well <laughs> to run into these guys multiple times. There he is, Mr. Skull Knight. Lovely, uh, bitch black cape. There's a lovely horse as well. Ah. I didn't notice that before. What's going on with Skull Knight's head? It almost looks like a bit of a, a mask, almost kind of screwed on here. I don't think that's the case. But what's going on here? Maybe something similar to Griffith, perhaps, with Griffith's kind of femto helmet thing. It kind of just looks like it's like a, a mask or something, but it is very much kind of attached to his being. Perhaps. Interesting. There's, there's even like the, the, the manga cut literally went to the effort of putting like a shadow underneath it, so. I don't think it's going to be like any major plot point or anything, but. The same from, oh, what the hell's going on around us? All of us? Hmm, so you did come. You who have been our foe for a millennium. I figured you wouldn't let this chance slip past. So does, so, does Skull Knight come here just to say Griffith, or do you reckon Skull Knight comes here to take his shot at the God Hand? I'm fighting them for a millennium. Been their foe for countless years, seems like. Which is a good sign for us. Cool, our shot of Zod right here. And you were given the command to guard the gate, Immortal One. Hardly. I have no interest in their indulgent spree. What I seek are the strong. You should know that, old rival. Old rival. Void would say that this too lies within casualties current. Very well. I wager myself upon my sword. Let's go. That's a sick shot of Skull Knight right there. Interesting, uh, interesting way they're speaking, isn't it? It's almost like they're kind of old friends. Again, old, old foes, they say, but... 
Almost again, kind of seeing like old friends as well a little bit. No interest in their indulgent spree. Hence why he's not actually in there. Should know that. And that's just referencing them probably fighting a lot. Void would say that this too lies within casualties current. What, so this is like, is he, is he saying that Void would say this is like a fated meeting or something? Casualties current. Again, very much kind of pinhead sounding. Again, I, I, I go back to that quote. Stop your tears. It's a waste of good suffering. <laughs> I fucking love, I love that quote. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. Worst part is it's like said seriously, which makes it even more funny. Very well. I wager myself upon my sword. That's another sick shot right here. It looks like we're going to be taking a little break from the actual goings on in the eclipse at the minute. I'm not sure the fight between these two was that detailed in the movie, was it? It was there. It did cover a little bit. But it was over quite quickly, if I remember correctly. That was a sick shot. Oh, yeah, it looks like we're back. I'm not sure if I have to censor these monsters, but I think I will do it anyway. They're not humans, so you'd think you wouldn't have to, but they are very human-like. Like, very human-like, so. I will. As uh, many of the band members again. Eight right here is that the um i think this is the same one that was on the cover of the uh of the last chapter in volume 12. it's like a snail <laughs> we've had a slug of course we're going to get a snail uh snail monster This one looks nasty right here. Eyes like that. Oh, we see this one in the opening shot. And yeah, we saw that last chapter as well. The one where you're going at Casca, isn't it? The big sis! Hey, let's go, Pippin. But Pippin, run! Pippin speaks. <laughs> run! One of the first time Pippin speaks. Hey, Casca's a little bit taken aback. Pippin, good job, Pippin. Or a human. Go! Run! Run! You have to survive. What do you say? As a Jadal grasps her. But what are you doing, Jadal? I don't think we ever got that. Did, was that a, a kind of movie original scene then? Because I remember at some point Jadal and Guts were talking about how Jadal likes Casca as well. But I don't think we ever got that in the manga here, did we? Was that an anime original scene then? In the movie? Can't imagine so. Don't know why they'd add that. Or am I just misremembering and that did happen? I, don't, I feel like I don't remember seeing it in the manga. Either way, I think uh, I think the version of him that did like her, maybe he still does in this version. And it's just uh, it's just heavily kind of implied, and they actually said it in the movie. But um, he'd probably be quite proud of himself right here. <laughs> but what are you doing, Jadal? Let's go, 
Pippins. Saving us. That's what he's doing. Oh wow, is that the um Is that the one we face in the first ever chapter of Berserk? The kind of snake one? Looks a bit like it. Shape wise. I'm still waiting for this Evil Dead reference. <laughs> it's been a while. I've probably missed it to be honest, haven't I? New Evil Dead uh, trailer came out a little while ago. It looks really good actually. I like the look of it. Kind of got the old school stuff going on, but it seems a bit more serious. Not gonna lie, I prefer the kind of comedic ones. I two is my favourite. Army of Darkness is uh, probably my second favourite. I really like the original. And it's kind of campy in its own way. It's got its own kind of comedic things going on in a kind of non-intentional way. Um, yeah, I, I like the remake. The remake was good, but again, that's probably my fourth favourite. That was a very serious one. Really good, though, but in the gore aspects and such. The whole series is really high quality, so... Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to Evil Dead Rise. Again, it looks like again a more kind of serious along the more serious kind of uh vibe, but again I liked I like the remake, so probably like this one as well. Do you know what I went back and uh, looked at the other day an old well not an old movie but a really cool kind of B movie, Bubba Hotep. <laughs> I remember watching that. I saw it on Cinemassacre. I saw him review it um God, more than ten years ago now. Probably even, probably even close to 20 years ago, perhaps. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> probably not 20, but probably like 10 years ago. Um, and then it's got Bruce Campbell in it, and it's quite funny. It's him playing Elvis, and then there's a black man playing JFK who thinks he's JFK, and he might actually be JFK. And they got to fight off like the mummy. And uh, it's just a fun movie, fun B movie. And it's got a cool ass, uh, cool ass name, Bubba Holtep. We'll definitely check that out if you're a fan of kind of B horror movies. But back to uh, back to this madness. Oh, wow. Look at those expressions, man. They leave, they leave Pippin die. Yeah, throws his knives. I'm not sure who he's throwing them at. But, oh, he's throwing them. Oh, so him. And I didn't see that at first. Yeah, he throws them at the uh, the monster's face. But what good that is going to do. But that's all he can do. As it looks like Pippin's getting overpowered right here. Man, look at that. Just got to leave him to this. Got to leave him to this madness and these monsters. Oh, that looks like Weald's thing, <laughs> doesn't it? Maybe they all have that. Oh, this one looks quite nice, actually. It looks quite kind, as much as it very much probably isn't. Pippin! Go back, Jadal! You're just gonna let him die? It's no use. You have to survive. You're our leader now. You must go on living. As long as our leader's alive, we aren't finished. And look at the situation, Casca. I mean, there is no going back. Look at the look at the surrounding monsters. This one also looks reasonably harmless, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, but the you're surrounded. There's no way you can go back because you'll just die alongside Pippin, and there's no chance of Pippin surviving here. As unfortunate as it is, it's very sad, isn't it? But there's just no hope for anyone in this place. Absolutely no hope. You think? You think I'm gonna let it all end like this? Damn, this is a cool shot right here. I 
as a badass shot. Like these uh, these designs as well. Looks kind of fossil like. As Pippin still giving it his all. Fair play to him. Fair play to him for sure. As, if, yeah, as we're probably going to see the end of him right here. And a very pained expression on Casca's face. Yeah, there he is. That is that same one, isn't it? It looks exactly the same as that first demon. I like that they reference a lot of the kind of past and upcoming demons in, uh, in these Eclipse chapters. This one looks like a call on the cop. Um, looks like he's having the time of his life as well. <laughs> but, um, yeah, justice for Pippin, man. Justice for all these guys. Someone needs to kill all these things. Someone needs to slaughter all these fucking monsters. And I'm hoping maybe Skull Knight and Guts can perhaps team up in that effort of just ridding the world of these absolute bastards. Yeah, look at the pain on Cass's face. Leaving Pippin to die like that. Oh, is this Caucasus' death? Oh, not quite yet. I know there's going to be some censoring to do when it comes to his death, I think. That is one cool looking monster again, though. <laughs> it's like an upside down face. Mixed with a, a monster again. Cap Captain! Huh? Huh? <laughs> Jesus, look at his face. Bloody hell. Wow! As he gets scratched in the back. Scrap. Oh, he lets off a flurry of attacks. To absolutely no one. Hitting nothing. And looks like he's uh, he's very much outnumbered. Not that that matters. One of these monsters can kill plenty, can't they? What happens here? Oh, he, he ends up luckily rolling down this hill <laughs> before they get him. Ah. Could you play dead here? Do they kind of sense perhaps that kind of branding that they get kind of senses when they're alive and then uh, kind of fades off when they die perhaps I was wondering if could you pretend you're dead and they perhaps wouldn't actually come after you or would they just kind of eat your dead body anyway who knows I have a feeling again they probably know whether you're alive or dead by the branding Are these all guts? Oh yeah they are. Fucking hell. Look at all these guts that Caucus landed in. Bloody hell. Disgusting. <laughs> Just the turn around. That's like something out of Evil Dead right there. And yeah, Caucasus is right on his forehead. His branding. But unfortunate for him. Though again, a lot of the bad members got branded on the head, didn't they? I'm, recor I'm recording this before I know if you guys have commented uh, why Guts is branded on his neck. But I've still, I've still got no idea, so please still help me. <laughs> it was quite fitting for everyone else. Maybe Caucasus is on his brain because he's such a dumbass. Mm. 
great shot right here. I've seen this one a minute ago, didn't we? That little frog looking one. That one just looks like an old man. Oh, it has got a body behind it. Okay. Damn, I like this one as well. It doesn't show the monsters, but this is essentially what it is. Just darkness. Just, just mouse in the darkness just ready to tear you apart and eat you whole. That's essentially what it's like, isn't it? You're running in these little bits of light. Away from this, uh, away from this pure darkness. Orcus runs straight into the darkness. <laughs> a dream. It must be a dream. This is all a bad dream. Look, here's proof. It, it don't hurt a bit. Damn, what happened to him? I don't even see that happen. I guess that happened while he was getting scratched at right here. But yeah, that's the that's the face of a crazy man right there. Hey, hey wake up. Wake up, me. <laughs> enough. Enough's enough. Hey, but still, where the hell did I come up with this dream? Good question. Who came up with this dream? Griffith did. Griffith came up from this dream. He came up from this dream and he came up with this dream. Midland, the band of the hawk. Ain't far fetched for it all to be a dream. So now he just wishes everything was a dream. <laughs> the past three, four, however many years, it was all a dream. A three year long dream. Okay, bro. I feel like that probably can't. I've never done mushrooms or anything, but um, I feel like that probably can happen when you are on mushrooms or something. When you're on like psychedelics, you probably can stay in a dream for like three years. Not literally, but kind of within that dream. You do hear about people having like other universes and such, don't you? Um, yeah. Never tried it myself. When you think about it, it was way too good to be true for me anyway. So yeah, it's all a dream. This is a dream. <laughs> I'll wake up and it'll all be over. John, that's quite sad, isn't it? That he actually sees that as like all the all that experience with the hawk as an like, experience far too good for him. Quite sad, isn't it? Considering the amount of dark and pain that they've been through during that time and that year without Griffith, when they were just hunted for ages, he considers that too good for him. It's quite sad, isn't it? I'll wake up and I'll be nobody again. Eh. And here we go. Do you know what? At least he goes out with a bang. Again, quite literally. <laughs> well, not literally because I don't actually think he ends up getting a bang, but... There could be worse ways to go out to monsters, couldn't there? Could just get ripped apart. I think I'd quite enjoy the premise of at least having a little bit of um, enjoyment beforehand, I guess. Oh, actually, yeah, we are. I was going to say, we're not actually going to be nude, but yeah, I guess we are. I mean, we couldn't be. And she's very pretty, isn't she? It's quite scary. Monsters can get to look like that. But, um, Guts gets done by that as well, doesn't he? In the first volume, although I think he knows that's the case. I reckon now knowing now knowing about the branding and the pain he gets when um, when a monster's near, um, he obviously knew about that girl being a monster. I think he would have uh, would have felt it. Ah, yeah, looky here, a woman in hell. <laughs> I knew this was a dream. And very pretty, isn't she? <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Why? A guy like me? And he uh, grabs the bosom. Damn it. Is it the same? Ask the same one. 
I didn't, did I realize that before? I, oh, it's been a while, so maybe I did, but I feel like I didn't realize that's the same monster that Guts sleeps with. So this, it's got a pretty good grasp at the woman form and how to entice men, doesn't it? Damn it. Damn it. Again, worst ways to go out. Even if it looked like this beforehand, it still had some decent boobs, which he grabbed, I guess. <laughs> I like probably just gone to it anyway. Monster boobs. But yeah, worst ways to go out, isn't there? Caucus actually ended up going out in a uh, pretty decent way, bless him. A respectable way. As he just embraces it right here. Probably going to have to censor quite a bit of this. Yeah, good uh, good first chapter here. Quite a sad one. Uh, Pippin and Caucus dying off. Bit of a shame. Got some again fun moments in here. Some really nice artwork again. I kind of again I kind of thought we would be focused on a lot on the Skull Knight Zod battle from the title of the uh, chapter, but I um I guess not. So we'll go straight into Storm of Death two. So uh, I think we can understand from this who's going to be passing away in this one one of the best members of the band of the hawk ah oh dear who's left now Ricker, guts casca and a bunch of randoms uh, i think gaston's still alive actually gaston i hope so well i say i hope so he's going to die anyway so Look at this, just the horse fucking absolutely pelting it through the bodies, through their dead comrades, looking at them go past, uh, past the body parts, the heads, the torsos, the monsters. I love the way they draw, draw the horses, by the way. Looks really cool in this chapter. And uh, this volume already, shall I say? Ah, look at these bastards. Easting. This one really does me in. <laughs> they all look pretty cheesy. Imagine getting eaten by these cheesy bastards. And just a. Uh... You can imagine what the floor in that. I'd love to get a shot of the whole place from the top, a bird's eye view of the whole place, and just without the monsters and just look at the carnage that's below, just the body parts, just the dead bodies. It'd probably be, yeah, just absolutely ruthless. It'd look a lot like that, obviously, all over the place. Why? Why? Is the is this hell? Did we sin that much? Is this where our bloodstained journey comes to an end? Or is this really the nightmare you wanted? As, you look, as she looks up there to, uh, to Griffith, that is very much the nightmare he wanted. Unfortunately, this is not hell. Probably can't be viewed as hell. This would be, if I died here, this would be my hell. This is a lot of the band of the Hawks members' hell. The underworld. But realistically, it is that man's dream. Or as she says, nightmare. The nightmare you wanted. She looks up. Answer me. Answer me. Griffith! Good job, Jadal. As he fights off this monster. Good job. In fact, I don't. I'm not sure we've seen any other human in this series able to damage a um, 
a monster other than Pippin just now, of course. Or get the better of one. Well done, Jadal. Jadal. Oh, wow, look at this thing. <laughs> and another kind of goofy looking one. Uh, a Velociraptor slash turkey slash the gourd. Cactus, that's the one. <laughs> slash a cactus turkey Velociraptor um, ostrich <laughs> with a pick up his ass. Again, this one looks quite funny, doesn't it? What damage are you doing with, with those hands? And the face as well. Again, it almost looks a bit like a... Um, I, said, I said this last time as well. It almost looks a bit like a... Uh, Demogorgon. Obviously without the splitting face thing, but the face looks very similar. As Jadal takes this one out as well. Now he's one of the only people who's actually taken out two monsters. So fair play to him. When I say taken out, obviously he hasn't killed it, but he's beat them. He's got the best of them. Twice. Jadao, right side. That's this huge motherfucker with mouths for eyes. Chomps down. Bloody hell. That looks cool, doesn't it? Oh, shit. I didn't even see that. It got his full arm. And you're not getting that back. Jadao! She grabs his uh, knife from the back. The song is so weird, it's got like inserts from Bleach in it, <laughs> and it, it, just, it literally just said, Oluga Mamoru, which I think means I'll protect you. And quite fittingly enough, in this scene right here of Casca helping out Jadao, it actually fit quite nicely. But there's not actually a version of this song without without any anime speech in. <laughs> Bit of a shame. It's a really good song. as we see the full form so its eyes are on its legs it's quite the shame isn't it it's quite the stupidness because <laughs> if everyone wants to move somewhere it can't see but i guess it's got a face underneath that can see and i feel like these monsters can kind of sense stuff anyway because we do see quite a lot without like eyes and such and they they still have pretty good kind of vision and knowing of the whereabouts so i feel like there's kind of more factors to what monsters can see than just eyeballs Again, probably got something to do with the brand, perhaps. Maybe it just follows the brand somehow. That is a cool shot right here, isn't it? Creepy ass face. Yeah, again, like I said uh, for a few times now, some of the creepiest parts about these guys are their kind of human faces that are attached to them. The expressions they make. Are you alright, Jadal? Yeah, you saved me. Like a, to be fair, he's still got his arm, but look at the fucking state of it. Absolutely gnawed to pieces. Probably can't function. Damn, look at it there. Jadao. That's enough. Let's just go back. No way. It's the same wherever we run. They'll follow us however far we go. We don't even know if there's an exit. At least, at least let's fight beside everyone to the end. Shut up! You'll bite your tongue. Jadao, struggle. Keep struggling and struggling until the end of ends. Then struggle some more. There's no fighting just to die. Well said. It's almost like what Skull Knight said. Um, or Zod was it, I can't remember which one of the two, but they said to Guts that he's a struggler. He'll keep struggling. And you've got to keep struggling. That's what life is really, isn't it? In its essence, it's a struggle. It's, a, it's an attempt to over overwhelm and 
get over these obstacles and missions and objectives and such. If you're not struggling, you're not doing it right. No struggle. Regal. Very well said, Jadal. Very much understand Casca's sort of where she's coming from, obviously, though. Again, this is a very. Like, there's no chance of survival. So, it would be quite respectful to go out with your, your comrades if you know you're going to die anyway, rather than just run off and try to delay your death as long as possible. But in that case, it is actually it's quite good that they've done this, isn't it? It does come out to be quite handy. Though I say that, it also means that Casca gets kind of captured by Griffith and that stuff happens, but rather that happen and she survived than just die way, way before that. I guess. Maybe some people would rather die before that ever happened to them. And that's a probably pretty touchy subject, I imagine, so I probably won't speak any further upon that. What's that? Uh, that's what, sorry. <laughs> that's what I'd say if I were him, right? You are that guy. <laughs> you are that guy, Jadal. You are that guy right now. Doing God's work right here. Oh, crab monster's going to be dropping down. Gasa, gasa. <laughs> Oh is that oh is it on the floor? I guess it's on the floor because we're riding over it. We're not hundred percent sure what's going on here. Is that his mouth on the top? Yeah, it looks like that's his mouth on the top. And it's just lying on the floor. Sneaky bastard. Oh here's that one again. Yeah, it looks like the, the horse got done here. Luckily, Casca and Jadao are okay again. Look at that arm, it's just absolutely brutalized. As, Ka as Jadao softens the fall for Casca. Again, he's doing God's work right here. Jadao! There's a little licky man here. Starts whipping about. Oh, so he can move his arm. Probably off just pure adrenaline, I imagine. I've always thought this one looks quite weird. Not the most intimidating, is it? Dosh. You don't have to. As it's whipping its tongue things about. Jesus Christ, look at that. Look at all that damage. Stupid move. Move it! Stupid. Move. Move it! But damn. Good now it's taking an absolute battering. Why? That's enough. Stop it. At this rate, at this rate, you're. As he gets done double in the chest. Well done, Jadal, man. Well done. Well done, Pippin, as well. Pippin and Jadal coming in clutch here. Helping save Casca. Both done a brilliant job. Sucks that we'll never see these guys again, doesn't it? It was okay in the anime and the movies because there was no more, if you know what I'm saying. That was the end of things. There wasn't any story without them. But from here, there's a story without them. Kind of sucks, doesn't it? 
I'm glad they got more chances to shine here in the manga though. They had their own kind of moments, both Pippin and Jadao at, at points had more moments for themselves. More shining lights. My last... My last one! I shot Jadao. I shot. Got the motherfucker right in the eyeball. Let's go, Casca. She finishes the bastard off. Jadao! Did it hit? My last knife? It, yeah, it hit. You killed it. You very much did. Well, obviously Casca killed it, but... Um, what a good job you done, man. He's got that peaceful look on his face. Now, go. As we're now just destined to die. What? What are you saying? Didn't you just say we'd struggle to the very end? Now, on your feet, no complaining. I'm taking you if I have to drag you. Unlike Guts, I'm kind of fragile. Ah, okay, no need to shout. I'll stay with you, even if I got a crawl. I shouldn't have to set. I shouldn't have said all that. Yeah, you bet you're coming with me. Taking responsibility for what you say. I'm all talk, after all. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah, some uh, some great moments between Jadao and Casca in this uh, chapter, wasn't there? Again, just such a shame that we're just we're getting like the best of these characters now, and at their best, their uh, their final moments. Oh God. I was at, oh thank god <laughs> I kind of thought this was again I thought this was a, not the evil dead reference but something like from the evil dead where we get the first point perspective of the monster always liked uh, shots like that well this is from uh, Jadao's point of view the darkness surrounding him really if you've got to if you've got time to shoot your mouth off I've always tried to be a smooth talker Damn. But in the end, I missed my chance to say it. So this is getting at what I was talking about earlier, but Jadao kind of confessed. To tell you that important thing. But now, you sure do cry a lot, you know. These must be the la my last words. She does cry a lot. Understandable. <laughs> Understandable considering the situations in which she's cried a lot, to be honest. I think anyone would. Although, personally, I always thought I was a bit smoother than that. Ah. I'm getting a bit emotional here. Jadao. Sad as hell, isn't it? Really. I've always tried to be a smooth talker, but at the end I missed my chance to say it. To tell you that important thing. But now, these must be my last words. You sure do cry a lot, you know? As he just falls. Jadao? J As the army of monsters continues to rage forward, we've unfortunately just got to leave him, haven't we? And again, some really nice designs here. I think the, the pitch black complements them really well as well, doesn't it? Oh, 
Oh, damn. God damn. Where is this eyeball coming from here? The inside of its mouth? Yeah, it looks like it. What is this thing? <laughs> Jesus. That as well. What is this? That, that, surely. Anyone can beat that one, surely. Again, this one looks like, I mentioned this before, it looks like Basket Case. <laughs> looks like the uh, the guy in the basket from Basket Case. And surely someone can beat this one as well. This one looks puny. It's like, it's literally just like a dog. But with no teeth. And a bum. Again, I, I like that they mix the kind of very horrific, brutal looking, ruthless looking monsters with monsters like these. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've done it again. Do you know what? I hadn't done that for ages till the last reading i done. But as I was saying, I like that they mix these kind of more serious designs with these quite fun, quite fun ones as well. Just like just, just randomness, like a pig with a big mouth. It's like the guy from Basket Case. I can hear him already. <laughs> that is what he sounds like the whole time. He's just moaning. <laughs> I'll try and get a picture up. Um, I know one of you knows uh, what Basket Case is, but I imagine the majority don't. The majority probably know that just from the uh, the Green Day song. Yeah, so that's, that's what comes up. Which is a good song. Um, this dude. Looks like this dude again. You as soon as you hear him, you can just hear him scream, can't you? <laughs> but, um, yeah, honestly, pretty cool creature. As much as it's corny as hell, it is pretty, pretty hilarious. Yeah, it looks quite a bit like him. Damn, that's sick. She lets go of Jadal, leaving him behind to die. Well, he's already dead, I think. And she takes up her arms. I like that. Oh. Oh. Ah! <laughs> let's go, Casca. Straight into battle with these fucking bastards. They're quite emotional moments, aren't they? Right here. Not the best start. She just bites the blade. And snaps it right off. Oh. Yeah, I think Jadal's death was actually probably done the best here, wasn't it? As much as Pippin's send off was awesome, as well as Caucasus' send off was pretty damn fitting and pretty awesome as well. I think Jadal's definitely had the most impact on me. It's quite the sad one. Sacrifice. A sacrifice. Woman, sacrifice. Woman, sacrifice. Sacrifice. Guts. Eat now. Eat her now. Sacrifice. Before that. Before that. Yes. Before that. Sacrifice. Before. Guts. Interesting. So is this kind of Griffith's will coming to light right here for what he wants the monsters to do to not eat her and kill her right here? And he's and on the left there is his thoughts of guts and kind of getting some payback towards him perhaps after it was only in the anime that we see these all these moments of Griffith kind of cap, uh, well, catching guts and Casca kind of talking things over and being close and such and being very jealous of that I imagine is this his kind of payback for that do you think now this looks like a Scream reference. <laughs> looks like a Ghostface mask reference right here. Almost.
I feel like that's what's going on here. Oh god. That is exactly what's going on here. Ah, oh, in the mouth. That's going to get worse soon, isn't it? As her uh, as her armor and clothes are all stripped from her. Again, probably under guts, uh, Griffith's will, I should say. Sorry. There's that. Uh, what I mentioned, I mentioned again earlier, the Demogorgon-looking demon. Obviously, th that was a thing before Demogorgons. I saw many monsters that looked like Demogorgons before Demogorgons existed. Um. Yeah, horrible. <laughs> Yeah, ripped apart by these, well, not even ripped apart, just your clothes are ripped apart, and then that is just horrible. Poor Casca. We end off with a shot of Jadal getting touched by Casca. Pretty fitting way to end off right there. Honestly, wasn't it? Again, that, that Jadal death was uh, very well done and very sad, wasn't it? We'll just scroll back up to that real quick. I think that was really well done. Again, probably my, um, it's not like I have a favourite death, but <laughs> probably my favourite kind of last moments. Pippin's was uh, very Pippin-like, wasn't it? No words said or anything. I mean, he did speak, but um, no words said, just, just took the brunt of the monsters and just held them back by himself and just done his own thing in silence, just silently helping out in a massive way, which was, again, very fitting of him. Uh, Caucus, of course, um, going the way that he... He was always a bit of a, well, I wouldn't say player, but he was always trying to go at it with the girls, wasn't he? So, again, kind of fit in death for him, and quite a nice death, actually. The death I'd like to have out of all of these guys. <laughs> Although, um, in a, in a more kind of emotional sense, it would actually be in Jadal's and kind of helping Casca uh, kind of push on forwards and get her, try and get her out of this place, but... Just uh, just fell short, unfortunately. Just gave himself up way too much. Just look at the state of his body. How much he gave of himself. Brilliant job by him. And then again, I think it was actually quite a bit more emotional here than it was in the anime or the movie. For all of these guys, to be fair, I think they're actually much better done here. Um, although, I think they're pretty accurate in the anime and, and the movie. I think it was, again, just felt a bit more emotional. Perhaps, again, because we spent a bit more time and they got a bit more of that shining light than they did, uh, than the kind of, anime and movie did for them where they cut out some of their kind of progression and development and such but yeah i think that was a uh, really well done there for jadal and yeah a couple really good chapters uh love this uh love this stuff right here seeing his kind of point of view of it but yeah let me know you guys thought about these chapters down in the comment section again very awesome start very sad start to this uh to this volume and it's just going to get worse from here so um yeah be uh be ready for the worst but yeah let me know you guys thought about these chapters down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys did like this one and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions so i'll be uploading this on so i uploaded one today next one's on tuesday so i'll be back so this is on friday i'll be uploading this so i'll be back on tuesday with episode with chapters um if the chapters God of the Abyss and Lifeblood uh, and potentially another one I, again I'm not 100% sure when I'll be doing that it might be I might do the three last chapters as the as the triple for this uh, for this one because they do seem quite short being only well they're all they're all about 20 pages to be fair but yeah I don't know I'll figure out when I figure out yeah thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your day guys